Hey guys, Ramit Sethi here from Growth Lab, and today we're gonna play a game of Should I Care About X? I'm gonna get a bunch of terms lobbed at me, and then I'm gonna tell you if you, as a business owner, should care or not. Let's do it. Definitely not. Gamification is when you have a piece of shit product and you say, oh, I know, let me add a 50% complete chart. Why don't you worry about getting a better product and maybe a better market to sell to? Webinars, yes, you should care about webinars. They work, people like to see you in front of a video, they wanna see that you're a real person. And the more expensive and higher you go up the value chain, the more effective webinars can be. 99% of the people who are talking about Facebook ads are unprofitable and 80% of them don't even know it. So be really careful when people are telling you, oh, I only paid $2 for an ad. Yeah, they made $10 a day. They have no idea that they are spending money every month and losing it and they won't realize it for about another year. Apps, oh man, that was certainly popular in 2007 until we figured out that for the most part, people open an app an average of one time and then they never look at it again. If you are thinking about being mobile first, you will know if you are a mobile company. And if your question is, should I think about an app? The answer is probably no. Yes, copywriting is so much more effective than people understand. Silicon Valley doesn't know shit about copywriting. They think easy, fast, secure, that'll sell them, wrong. Great copy is like an amazing art form mixed with science. We have seen massive conversion increases through direct response copywriting, and so has every direct response marketer for the last 100 years. Messaging bots are really hot, and nobody knows what the hell to use them for. You can pay attention to them if you want, but everybody is trying to sell a course on creating messaging bots. Nobody actually knows how to use them. Email funnels are one of the most powerful forces on earth, if you think that you're gonna sell a $1,000 product like that, you're wrong. People need time to learn what it is you have to offer. Your email funnels mixed with amazing copywriting and productization, they're one of the most powerful forces on earth. Uh, everybody's talking about VR. I have never seen anyone know exactly what to do with it. I'm not saying don't think about it or it's not gonna be real. It's gonna be amazing. But if you are creating an online business that does not have to do with VR, why don't you focus on your own business instead of worrying about all these buzzwords? Video is pretty big. <laughs> I think you should focus on video and you should shoot it in a black shirt, sitting on a couch with a number of pillows, perhaps blue tinted. Video is extremely powerful. Now the question, is it YouTube, is it Instagram, is it Snapchat? These are questions that you'll have to discover for yourself, your business, and your audience. So be thoughtful, video is amazing. You can even get really good on video, but make sure you tie it back to growing your business. I, who the hell put this question in here? You definitely did. Oh, sh screw it, move on. <laughs> Auto webinars are pretty powerful. I hear a lot of very positive things from my peers who use them. There are a lot of people who will talk about how much money they are making with auto webinars. About 5% of them are telling the truth. Most people are either mistaken or openly lying about how much they make with auto webinars. But if you have the sophistication to set up an entire paid system, then the accompanying tracking, and then the webinar technology, and an amazing product that doesn't result in high refund rates, I say all the power to you. Again, I know a few people who are doing it well, most are not. Pinterest can be amazing. Uh, I see a lot of companies in the fashion world that are doing incredibly well, but I see a lot of people, I've seen people in the personal finance world who are obsessed with Pinterest. It makes no sense. Focus on the channels that are gonna drive intent towards your business. If you're talking about maps and then you're spending all your time on Pinterest, it just doesn't make any logical sense. Okay, here's the deal on headshots. My headshot was fucking ugly until about two years ago, but I still grew my business to a large amount of profit. So am I saying headshots are pointless? No, I love my headshot now. But if you think that getting a beautiful headshot with the right light is gonna change your business, it's not. But always remember, you gotta focus on your customer and profit first, and think about your brand and your ego second. MOOCs, everybody thinks MOOCs are gonna change the world. I think any type of educational system that gets more people access to education is amazing, but the great delusion of MOOCs is that people are gonna magically decide to sign up for Physics 401 and go through all the material on their own. There's a reason universities exist. There's a reason I'm a huge supporter of formal education. 
Just be honest with yourself. You're not going to read a physics book on your own and people need to be pushed with quizzes, tests, and an instructor. So MOOCs, amazing at opening up access, but if you want serious education, pay for it with money and time. Hey guys, if you like this game, I want to know your list of 10 things you're wondering if you should care about. So send me a list, leave a comment, leave a video response, send it over, and I will record a video for the best ones that come my way.